Hey, what's up? I'm Basil Barrington, and today I am doing a short video just to let you know how the new M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch face cam, what it really looks like. And I am also using the built in microphone as well. No processing. I probably have to normalize the audio just to get the volume right because the you know, laptop is a little bit away from me, so it's right here, as you can see. But this is what the camera looks like. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've been searching YouTube just to find out if someone did a deep dive on a, the face cam with the new M1 Pros or the M1 Mac chips. And, um, you know, I saw some stuff, but no one really went in and just said, hey, you know what, this is it, you know, did like a little longer video. But this video is shot on the face cam. Again, I have the new M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch laptop. This is the base model. I just have an extra, I have a one gig terabyte hard drive, SSD hard drive. So that's the only thing I upgraded on this base model is the hard drive. Um, so when they first came out with the M1 chips, I went on ahead and I purchased the Mac mini M1. Now again, that thing is a beast. That was the base model. I had it, I used it exclusively for streaming and also editing videos with Final Cut Pro. No hiccups, no beach balls, nothing like that. But the problem with that was it really didn't work with my workflow, you know? So I had to, I have different video sets. So I had to lug it from video set to video set with the monitor and everything. So that just didn't work out for me. So when they came out with the M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch, I said, okay, this is gonna work out because at least I have a laptop, I can install my DJ software on it as well, I can use Ecamm Live and I can just work everything out that way. It's easy, it's, you know, it's portable, the whole nine. It worked out. I had no problems with that. And, and one evening, it was a Friday night, turned on the DJ um, system and started DJing. It's, I would think it was about nine o'clock. Uh, when I put it all down, it was three o'clock. So I had that thing uh, connected to um, a very powerful DJ controller, the Pioneer XDJXZ, um, that was connected to um, the, my DJ software record box. And you know what? When three o'clock hit and I shut it all down, I had absolutely no idea that I was DJing for almost six hours on the battery. It wasn't even plugged up. It was just the battery. And the thing rocked out. It did not die. I was just like, wow, no glitches, no hiccups, the whole nine. So when Mac, when Apple came out with the new 14 and 16 inch laptops with the new chip, the M1 Pro or the M1 Max chip, I was like, okay. And the 1080p camera, the face cam, I was like, okay, this, this may be a wrap right here, right? So I went out and I traded, <laughs> you know, the M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch in, and I waited three weeks for this, and now I have it. And so earlier I did, um, I recorded a Behind the Groove podcast episode with DJ Keo. This was connected to uh, Ecamm Live, which is my streaming software, and I use, I used the face cam on this, the 1080p face cam, and it, listen, I'm on it right now, so I don't know what else to say. You obviously have to throw light at this thing. Is it an iPhone camera? No. Is it a Canon or a Sony? No. It would be absolutely ridiculous to compare a webcam on a laptop to something like a Canon or a Sony or even an iPhone, you know? So are we even gonna entertain those sort of arguments? The silly, right? But I thought that, hey, if Apple came out with the new, the latest and greatest M1 chips or whatever it was, M2, but we know that it's like M1 Pro and M1 Max, and the laptops had a new face cam, it was 1080p, I was going to trade that in and get it. So I have the 14, the 16, I had the 16, the last Intel model 16, a beast, but every time I was editing video, fan would go off, thing was loud as anything, no problems here. So I'm really pleased with this face cam. Again, I am throwing some light at it. I have a ring light on right here and I have two key lights on, but they're very dim. So, you know, they don't really 
do anything, right? And you can just look for yourself. You know, you can just see for yourself what this looks like. Um, I think this thing is going to rock out in terms of like people who have nine to fives. They do a lot of Zooms. They do a lot of Teams. And, uh, you know, they just want a better camera and they don't want to have to fiddle around with like, you know, connecting, you know, different webcams or even iPhones and things of that nature. And um, this thing is going to rock out right there. Now, will Apple come out with the the MacBook Air with a 1080p camera or, you know, the MacBook Pro 13 inch with a 1080p camera? Probably. Why not? You know, why would you have, you know, these other laptops with like old, you know, you know, cameras in them like 720p, you know, even though they're good. The other cool thing about this camera is it does, you know, remove, it does, you know, this AI does a really good job at like smoothing things, <laughs> smoothing things out, you know, again, you know, like this camera is like hiding some of my uh, laugh lines, which I don't have a problem with, you know, that's what my mama gave me. So <laughs> I'm rocking out with that. But it does a really good job at like, you know, removing some of those imperfections in your face, you know, wrinkles and things like that. It smooths you out, you know. Um, and again, you know, these are just things I'm picking up on. But again, if you are trying to do something in a pinch, you know, someone wants to interview you and all you have is one of these new MacBook Pros, the 14 or the 16 with the new M1 Pro chip or the M1 Max chip, then this is going to work for you. I wanted everyone to see what this 1080p camera looks like on the new M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch laptop, which is what I have. Base model, but the hard drive is a terabyte. Tell me what you think, leave a comment, and until next time, peace.